For my next trick, I will need a shuffled pack of playing cards and I want this pack to, to choose a card. But let's try something different. Today I want this pack to, to do magic, so I'm going to memorize a card and he should find my memorized card. So first of all I'm going to memorize a card. Okay, okay I got one. Now I want this pack to, to take the cards and shuffle them as many times as he or she likes them. Okay, now I have here 54 cards and I want him to, uh, to name a number. Okay, it should be number between let's say 10 and 35. Now in this case I don't have a spectator so let's say he picks the number 21. Okay? Now the spectator should take the top 21 cards and he should deal them facing up on the table so I can check if my card is in these 21 cards. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, and I have seen my card in this pack. Now I'm going to write my selected card on a sheet of paper because I don't want you to think that I, I'm cheating or something like that, okay? Okay, so I've, I've written my selected card on this sheet of paper. Now I want the spectator to take the cards and you should put one card on the table, one card on the bottom, one card on the table, one card on the bottom and so on, okay? Now in this case I don't have a spectator so I'm going to do this. Okay, I have here some more cards. Okay, I'm left with one card, and this card just happens to be the Five of Diamonds, my selected card. Now, of course, you don't believe me, so I can show you my, the sheet of paper that says the Five of Diamonds. So, that's a trick. I hope you enjoyed. And before I show you the explanation for the trick, I want to tell that this trick is a trick by Tully Ho Cards 9. I don't know if, if this is his creation. So he did the performance and I wanted to show you my performance and explanation for the trick. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed and now to the tutorial. So for this trick you have to memorize four key numbers. 2, 4, 8 and 16. Now these numbers are very easy to memorize because you only have to double the numbers. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, so it's very easy to memorize. Now you start the trick with giving the deck a quick shuffle and you say to the spectator that he's going to do the magic okay and you say that you're going to memorize a card now of course you don't have to memorize a card you only say that you have now a card in your mind okay and you want the spectator to pick a number between 15 and 35 or 10 and 35 okay now let's say the spectator wants the number 15 now you have to find the nearest number to 15 Okay, is it 2, 4, 8 or 16? Now the nearest number is actually 16. But in this case, you are not allowed to take the number 16 because after that you have to subtract the two numbers and you can't do 15 minus 16 because it doesn't work. So that's the reason why you have to take the second nearest card, 8. Now you can do 15 minus 8 is 7 and after that you have to double the number. So 7 times 2 is 14. After that you take the cards the spectator takes the cards and he deals, a uh, he deals 15 cards on the table and you have to memorize the 14th card, okay? Now let's say the spectator picks the number 19, okay? So this time the number 16 works, so 19 minus 16 is 3 and you have to double the number so 3 times 2 is 6. Now you give the card to the spectator and he deals the top 19 cards on the table. Okay, and you have to memorize the sixth card. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You memorize the five of hearts. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, and you say that you sew your card in this pack of playing cards. Okay, and after that you take a sheet of paper and you write the cards you have memorized on the sheet of paper. So in this case, the five of hearts. Okay, and you put it into the card box or something like that. Now the spectator takes the cards facing down 
and you should put the top card on the table and then on the bottom. On the table, on the bottom and so on. Okay. Like so. Okay, some more cards. Okay, you're left with one card, the five of hearts, and of course the, spec the spectator doesn't believe you, so you can show the sheet of paper. It says the five of hearts. Now I have to tell you one more thing. If the spectator picks one of the key numbers, you have to memorize the first card the spectator deals on the table. So let's say he says 16, so you deal the top card on the table, so one, and you memorize the nine of spades. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and you don't need the deck anymore. After that, you square up the cards, and you write the 9 of spades on a sheet of paper, and you put it into your card box or something like that. Now, this time, you have to store it like so. So, you put one card on the bottom, and then one card on the table. On the bottom, on the table, okay, like so. And you do it with all the cards until you're left with one card in your hands. Okay, some more cards. Now, there is one card and it is the nine of spades and after that you can reveal the nine of spades on the sheet of paper. So that's basically the trick. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to Tallyho Cards again. That's it. See you next time.